fuck is up, that's, everybody? That sounds fucking good. That sound. I just want to dance. I got in your ass. That's beautiful. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> we gonna get a fucking. We gonna get a. That's just going platinum. Oh, I love it. Welcome to the fuckery with Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus, everybody. I'm, what up uh, with ya? I'm what Lenny Marcus. Up with ya? And, and I'm Lele Jones. And this is the, the podcast hell. where the mission is to keep it 100 at all times. We talk about the fuckery going on in the world and in our lives and have a lot of fun doing it. Today we've got WNBA star Brittany Sykes. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. We get the Slam. stars in here. Yeah, but she could play in the NBA. I'm telling you, she's that Number good. Number 15. Yeah, we got listener questions, of course, our last segment, the fuckery of the week. But first, let's catch up in our first segment. What the fuck is up? Oh, I can't wait. Leslie, we haven't really spoke this week. We spoke yesterday for a little, but, you know, I, I think the big news for me here is the billboard in Times Square went up for so this funny. show. It is fucking well, I have huge. just a slight I just have a slight complaint. Go okay? ahead. I can't. Why why wasn't why wasn't my shit on a major street? Like where I went, I literally it took me forever to get down that damn Mariposa. And <laughs> and then when I got there it's some fucking random building in front of a Mexican Martin. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> and I had to sit there. I'm standing on the corner. So I look like an idiot standing there on the corner. Just posing and shit, trying to get the picture, trying to wait every 30 seconds for that motherfucker to come up and get as many pictures as I can when it's up on the screen. I look like an idiot. I was just standing there pointing like this and shit like, okay, this motherfucker's coming. Why would you not take somebody with you? Take the assistant with you. I mean, you Who? go. Who? Who? Jay. Because I, just, because I just was like, I would have to wait for Jay to get to the house. So Leslie Jones then, is just standing on a street corner taking yeah, selfies with a big That's what the fuck I do. Yeah, I don't okay. give a shit. I wish somebody would say something to me, man. <laughs> I am fucking ready to fight all uh, the time. I'm like literally ready. Nothing. I never. All the videos I see, I was like, that shit never happens in front of me because it would have been a whole different story. But I got something funny to tell you before we. Okay, go. Okay. This is the funniest shit I have ever. I've, Dennis, yep. you, you know, my hairdresser, yeah, Dennis, right? Of course. I love Dennis. My, my hairstylist, whatever. So, yeah, he cut your hair, too. Yeah, he does mine. So, Dennis says, Dennis says, okay, so I did the interview with Bill Maher this week, yep. right, for, for the press. Yep. And he goes, yo, you know Bill Maher got a big dick. And I was like, what are, what are you talking about? How do you, how do you know he has <laughs> a big Dennis dick? He was not. like, well, I always, I always look at the print. That's the first thing I look at when I look at a man. And I was like, oh, so have you looked at Lenny's? He was like, never. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's like. What? He's like, he said, and I always look at everybody. I never look at Lenny's. I was like. Wait, you, he looks he at the like, cause what? I don't want to know. He goes, I don't want to know. He looks at the pants? <laughs> he looks at the print in the pants. He goes the straight to the, the dick pants. area. I said, you've never looked at Lenny's dick area. And he was like, never. I don't have any desire whatsoever to see uh, his groin. I, I was don't, like, I don't that blame him. is funny. And and Dennis want to see everybody groin. <laughs> the fact that he rejected your groin is fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> That's why I That's tip him so well. That's so fucking funny. That's why I tip him well. Now oh I'm gonna have to God. tip him a lie. Now I'm gonna have to tip him a lie. I'm gonna tip him so much money you don't next have to time tip he cuts him my to hair. Fucking lie yeah. now. Did you ever yeah, look at Lenny's? We, yeah. Oh my God, it's gigantic, Leslie. My he, ne he never, he never looked at. It. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever. I'm just like, ew, ew. Yeah. No, I, I barely um, look at it. I don't want to. I don't look down there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I know he's looking at stuff. I mean, every time I see him look at something, I'm like, are you looking at the? <laughs> are you looking at my print? Like grind? Are you gonna pose? Are you gonna pose for? Him? All right, let me talk about the. But that since you, have me for since you brought okay. it up, the Bill Maher. You did Bill Maher po podcast, Conan yes. podcast, Laverne Cox. Tell me what yes. was that like? All three. It was awesome. It was actually Colin uh, Conan. I kept calling him Colin, which was hilarious. <laughs> so he kept flirting with me too. Come Conan on, want to get it. Conan want to hit it. Really? Conan want to hit it. Is he married? He fucking hitting on me. I don't... Listen, you know I don't give a fuck uh, about these white boys and what they do in their life. Yep. Uh, I think he married. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but he kept fucking flirting with me. And I was like... When I came out, I was like, is it me? And everybody was like, nah. He kept dropping that note. Like, oh, wow. Like, what's up? Conan. Like, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, Conan. And I kept calling him Colin. But he, it was a great <laughs> interview. And especially when I would call him Colin, and he'd be like Conan. I was like, "This is the same thing." You know, I'm talking to you. You know, it's a C. Did you, you just replace the L? Did and you? The I, did you ever you know. do a show when it was on? Yes, but that's the thing. You remember I told you I had beef with him Over. because he asked me about a boyfriend, and at that time I was with that asshole. Uh. And then 
used that as the reason to break up, break up with me because he was like it was too much advertising so he sent all these articles he was a bitch oh my bitch god shit. that conan was shit. dropping th do you have a boyfriend he was dropping it then too what he didn't and listen he didn't yeah but see he didn't um know that i didn't want him to ask that question because the guy the producer didn't tell him that's mm. what he claims he was like I've, he said i would have never asked you that he asked uh, if conan has been all over you look at this he's very and, white and <laughs> man he's so white <laughs> I like I'm talking about whoa dude like I feel like you would disintegrate in the sun like the sun would disintegrate yes. your motherfucking ass you need to get a fucking full plump of melanin but um but um that's why he's trying to fuck me because he think he can get the sunshine yeah, through maybe. my pussy yeah. but my pussy do got sunshine you know that's what it is um uh, and what um, about the other two um Bill Maher. And Laverne, Laverne okay. was the shit. Laverne did her research. She did her research. She brought up some good shit. She made me cry. What? She, I said, Laverne, you did an Oprah bitch and you made me cry. <laughs> like, I was like, I was not going to cry. And she made me cry. Uh, uh, she showed me, a, first of all, she showed me this clip that made me laugh so hard because I was like, oh shit, I made that clip. You, uh, okay, you know, back in the day when you can splice your little sets together. Yep. I spliced the little set together, and that's the that's the clip. She, I said, where the where, fuck where did, did you find it? this? Because like, how? Where, and she was like, I think I, you know, I, I, it might be still on my website because I still have my website, <laughs> and it's so hilarious because I was like, oh my god, I remember when I made this clip. I was like, oh my god, that is fucking hilarious. And I then she showed me the clip where I was talking to uh, Whoopi Goldberg on the view which yep. made me tear up again yep. because you know how much i love whoopee everybody loves and um yeah she did she did her homework it was a great interview we had a great interview oh wow and it turned into all kinds of stuff we talked about dating and everything oh my god we talked about everything it was great it was actually great and i looked good mm -hmm. um and bill maher now bill maher bill maher had this little uh shack or something that he built on his thing i'm sure he's very proud of it he really was he was very surprised that i wasn't like impressed i was like yeah i've been in a horny old white man's shack on the fucking property before this is not the first one son like this shit you need to get bitches to sign wait a second, wait a if they walk in this motherfucker where have you been they in another horny anybody. old white man's shack come on lenny i'm fit come on come on lenny. do we really have to come on you're talking to leslie jones i'm, two, okay. I'm a two thousand year old woman i've, I've okay. done a little bit of everything the only thing i never went to hugh hefner shit and i was invited oh. but i never went to his shit why didn't oh. you it's an old ass, because an old ass house, old but, ass white man. Don't you want to see it? For? Listen, let, let me explain the All biggest right. mistake that I made is in Jamaica, I went to hedonism and I thought, ooh, oh. this is going to be so fucking hedonism. cool and freaky. I'm going to see some fine motherfuckers. They're going to pull their dick out. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It wasn't nothing but a bunch of old white motherfuckers and chaps. <laughs> and that is not fucking sexy. <laughs> it's really gross. And they had a big buffet. They had the nerve to have a buffet. And I was like, how dare you? How dare you be naked around food, you disgusting? It was so disgusting. It was so fucking. Every time they would come by the table, I was like, ew. And Brian and was like, you're going to get us killed in this motherfucker. And I was like, let's go. Because this is not hedonism. This is hell. This hedonism. is no, the real actual hell. Hedonism? It, no, it was what I just said. Hedonism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hedonism. Uh uh, it was awful. So what you talk to Bill Maher about? Everything. And Same you know thing. what's so weird? We talked about a lot about stand-up. And uh, I told him, I was like, you're so white. Like, I, it's you had the white experience. And he was like, I was just, you know, the, the, how he said he made it and all that stuff. I was like, I'm not saying it was a struggle, but it was a white experience. I said, when I came in, you know, I had already been fucking with pimps, hoes, hustlers, crackheads. I had already been playing in that field so the comedians wasn't shit to me it was just another genre so they didn't impress me mm -hmm. but the first thing that i met with was hey are you fucking i'll take you on the road if you fucking that was the first thing that you had i had to put the radar out is that i don't fuck comedians i wouldn't fuck you with my enemy's pussy and i do not like that bitch and i'm, I'm telling you i don't like that bitch at all do you understand so you know, we talked a lot about stuff like that. We talked, you know, it, it was a good, it was a, it was, it, and we smoked weed. He let me smoke weed. On the show? Them. Oh, man, it was the best thing when he pulled that joint out and I was like, yo, 
we smoking? He was like, yeah, you want? I was like, yeah, monkey pox. I, I told, I made Jay bring my joint in. Let me bring my joint in while you smoke that bullshit over there in that fucking, because it looks like bullshit that you're smoking. That's what it really looked like, but it's cool. <laughs> Did any of them People mention? People always think that they can outsmoke me. It's so hilarious. Yeah, that's not a that's it's just, just so funny i just be like just stop like when people would come into snl yep. and try to outsmoke me and keenan it would be so embarrassing for them they we would be like yo dude we've been already smoking like all day like we didn't already had two fucking or three joints and you coming in here and you can't even finish half a joint like man i'm telling you everybody that thought they smoked really knew they didn't smoke when they walked the fuck out of our fucking dressing room oh my god the, i've First of all, I got, you know, that story we were on set once, and I don't want to say the show, but we were on set, and then the uh, prop guy comes up to me, and he goes, hey, um, I'm just walking to set, and he goes, hey, Leslie, you're interested. Do you think, my brother's in the weed business, do you think Leslie would want a few samples? I'm like, come with me. I literally about-faced, <laughs> in dead walking, I'm like, just come with me right now. He walks out of this the car. brought me, like, two pounds, pounds. of weed. I brought like, me two pounds of weed. Yeah. And it was it was all right. It yeah. was it was okay weed. You know what I'm saying? I've never I gave seen, it to a lot of people. I've it looked like bags of hair. I mean, it looked like huge. It's, it's, I've never it's, seen that much. It was beautiful. But see, what's so funny is back in the day, like this, uh, would nobody appreciate that more than me back in the day? That's mm. when I really want to quantum leap back and show and go, yo, bitch, somebody just gave you this and have me scream to the top of my voice, and <laughs> then I quantum leap back. <laughs> I was like, Leslie, like, how much? Before giving me some weed, because I would be right. like, "Bitch, give me some of that weed." You know, <laughs> I got a quantum leap back. Um, <laughs> yeah, they the and I asked you how much was that worth? That's those two giant bags of weed. Oh, uh, like, it was two pounds. It was like two pounds of that? weed. That's I don't know what pounds is. I only know what ounces is. So, all right, well, you know, take for, a, like you took a, a while, quarter, yes. like a quarter pound. A quarter pound was like it's like nine hundred. I think a quarter pound. I think like I might a hamburger. Be, I think quarter, hamburger like size. A quarter pound. I don't want to. I, I mean, well, I pay nine hundred, but I get it from a grower. So, mm. well, quarter pound I think you said like this was worth at pound. the time. You're like, this is probably eight grand of weed. I was like, come on. It was. It was. I. I'm pretty sure I said it. I was did a lot. come in a big box. I knew that. I was like, I've never seen anything like With that. With all man. kinds of goodies. And I, he's like, I like when people do stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, I just yeah. want you to try. And I was yeah, like, just okay, try. cool. Oh sure. And yeah. I, I, I gave it to a lot of people. Yeah. Can anybody? But uh, like, wait a minute. Go ahead. Wait a minute. What else? You, oh, so, but that was great. That was great press. That was, was great. Great press. fucking press. You did a great job. It was great press. Thank you for doing that. And uh, you know, did any of them mention me at all? Go do the Today Show. None. Uh, not fucking one. Not like, and it's, and not fucking one. Come on, and, Conan. And you know what? Wait a minute. Maybe Conan. Yeah, I think maybe somebody Conan over there might have said one thing. May have, may have, and and even me. Like even I didn't say nothing. <laughs> and that's that's fucked up. They didn't. You know. That's, yeah, that's fucked I up. That's what's real fucked up. That's I that's what you liked really it. should be mad about. I kind of like. You it. should be more mad. At but let me right tell you there. something about but people. Everybody loved the outfits. You got dressed up for these shows, and I'm telling you, I got more calls about your outfits to do these podcasts than anything. My sister today gave me, I'm not joking, 15 minutes of I love those outfits. Again, with that blue dress, and I like she got it at Bloomingdale. She could get the fuck out of here. Like my, my wife and my sister are obsessed with Brian and you and the looks, and they're like, you look amazing constantly. Constantly. And I am always forever fussing at the motherfuckers. God damn it, they just like children. Now this um, Brian's he know you know he my baby. Um He does a but, great job. Yeah, Brian, you know Brian, see people don't understand you gotta get a good tailor too. It's a good tailor and there's a lot of good seamstress and tailors that you can go to. There's a cleaners that I used to go to in downtown LA that is very affordable. Just like you need to find a good tailor. Why tailor? And why do you get good tailors, but you can't get a good pool guy, a good, you know, grounds. Because that's a ground. different, it's a whole different thing, but I have all that good stuff because you do have to go through. A th I had to go through a few before few to tailors. get a okay. really good seamstress. Though. I feel like but, you've you never know, complained important. about the seamstress. You've never well, complained. that's because Brian gets them and I don't ah, have to worry about it. I but this, uh, this one seamstress we got right now, she's very kooky. She's sweet, but she's really kooky. <laughs> And I, and I love her, but she kooky as fuck. But um, she can sew her ass off. Yeah. So what what we do is stuff like that. We make it longer. We just get a second suit, and then we take material from the second suit and make and put alterations on the outfit, mm. and make whatever it is that I'm wearing mines. You know what I'm saying? Like that red dress. Yep. We changed the whole neckline. We just we the neckline was halter. We changed it to a sweetheart, and it's just like. Uh, 
It oh. makes it beautiful. It makes it very Marilyn Monroe and pulls up your breasts. My wife is extremely impressed. That's all I got to say. She always, the first thing, no matter where you go, is bring up the outfit. Like, I have to, you send me the picture, bring, I want to see the picture. I want to see the picture. Yeah. I want to see the picture. Yeah. It's amazing. I love, I love what he comes You up should with. have your you own fashion line. Person. I've been saying this forever. Well, I think that I want to start with t-shirts because I have really good sayings for that. <laughs> You know, I have really good saints. Go fuck yourself. But wait a minute, a... I want to talk about I want to talk about your kidney stones. Yeah. That's got to be talked about. Yeah, I got it, please. Because it's the a... best story I heard about is Garfield standing up in a chair and screaming that I will kill everybody in this motherfucker if you touch my dick again. So, <laughs> can you beat that story? <laughs> Who? What, what do you mean? This comedian Garfield, we was on our way to Rhode Island and he was having kidney stones and oh. we had to stop and let him off at the hospital, yeah. and one of the comedians stayed with him, and he said that the dude stood up in the fucking chair and was like, if you touch my dick again, I'll fucking kill you. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know that men have something like that they go through. So is that the same as pregnancy? Kind of. They say it's the second closest thing to childbirth. You know, like, And so at any second most pain you can have, and I mean, I have been, there are not, when it hits and it's coming down that tube, this Saturday night, I, six to eight in the morning, I was moaning on the like just. So what does it feel like? It just feels like your back's gonna explode. It feels like Jesus. It feels like there's something there's a, like does cramps. Feel like it, cramps. Cramps and pain, and it feels like something like it's just going. Your whole back is gonna explode. That's what it feels like. I can't, and it's just, and it, I threw up twice. It was incredible. Damn, you yep. threw up. I haven't I've thrown never, up in 25 ever, years. I was finna say I've never even seen you nauseous nope. before. And I threw up, and I mean, I'm like, I'm like, you, I've hit bottom. Ooh, I, and I bet threw you. Up. What does that sound like? I, awful. What, please, Birdie was like, please tell me. Birdie goes, please what is me. that sound? I heard her say it to Gina. What is that please sound? Please tell me. Please tell me. Is it like? Bleh! It's the word. I don't me. even know that sound. Could I want to hear of me. what it sounds like. I have to know what it. I and then followed by. Let's <laughs> follow. <laughs> <laughs> It's so loud too. That I didn't even do it as loud. It's so gross. And then just That's water. That's so funny. But what? But what are you? But what are you throwing up? Nothing. It's like bio? water. Water. Bio. Just, is it yeah. yellow? N- yeah. It was bio. White. You was throwing up. Bio. Whatever Poor I'm throwing baby. up. It's just just. Oh. Make it come out. And you know. It, so does your nuts hurt? Does your dick hurt? At no. The time? Tell no. Me. I no. Need to know it's what just this your is. back. It's just your back. And then when so uh, is that where the kidney stones is? And yeah. well, why does it choose to come through your dick and not your ass? At least let you shit it out <laughs> instead of have to put it through the dick. It's That's not connected. <laughs> Stop it. It's not That's connected to your fucked ass. Up. It's not. It's, but I'm saying it can't come through the ass. It has to come through the dick. Yes. That makes no sense. That, will... fa- that feels like a cruel. Now that makes me know that God is, is a woman. That makes me know that God's a woman. Well, you're getting real. even, I guess. I mean, mostly happens to men. I don't mostly. know if it's getting even, but I, I, <laughs> I would Jesus. Uh, yeah, and it goes through a tube. The tube gets on it, lands in your bladder, eventually it pee it out, which is not not the. That's the easy part, to be perfectly frank. Really? Yep. It just I heard goes, that that's blink. the worst part. Nope. Oh. When it move, when Jesus. it comes out of the kidney and starts going, it is the. Oh but my but God. wait a minute, doesn't it? I mean, is it sand or something? Would it? It looks nick like a piece of granola. The tin? I will. But s- does it nick? It will it nick something if it? Well, it's sharp. Yeah, it can be sharp, but I I don't know how. That it must could be. it kill you? Could it like it split like the? the well, if the, it gets stuck in bangs? there, it gets stuck in there. They got to go get it, and there's different ways they can go. Oh get it. shit! Yeah, they have wait to, a minute, do they? Then they got to put something inside of the. <laughs> It's not the like a pipe hole. cleaner. No, not I, the penis hole. But that's that. You know what? That's, I'm not sure. They may be doing that as well. But they got to go in there and get it. Yeah. And sometimes they, now they can drop you in a tank of water or something and sonic boom it, and it'll break it up or something like that. Yeah. They got a they got a bunch of methods that I don't want to know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You would love that. Please God. Please no. God. Do not wish I that on me. About the, I'm not gonna wish the sonic boom, but I need to know more. This is fucking. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. We'll get it. Maybe Bill Nye, the science guy, when we get him, can come in. Yeah, the sonic boom tank. Oh, man, please. Hey, Judith, put that down for us to ask the science guy when it comes, because that's some funny shit. But let me tell you something. So I'm screaming on the couch till 8.30 in the morning. Then Gina wakes up, takes one look at me, moaning on the couch. She knows exactly what's going on. She goes, oh, this is the sympathy I got. Oh, great. That's what she said. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> now I got, I thought I was going to, she was like PMSing and that was going to be a bad day for her and I was going to take Birdie, but immediately, like, it went back. So selfish. Oh, great. Like, 
I'm sorry. I didn't want to nearly die and vomit all day long. You think I wanted that to happen? Holy shit, that's some fuckery right there. Like, how about a little yeah, sympathy? I, I would have been like, you know what, Gina? Yeah. I swear to God. I couldn't I'll get the word you. bitch out of my mouth. I was crying too hard. You, you know, like, better not fucking call her no bitch, but you know what? You should tell her, Gina, get your motherfucking ass somewhere and sit down. You couldn't even say that, though, huh? No, she, she, oh, they went man. on. So what'd she do? She took Bernie. She, she, she had to, left. she had to suck it up. You know what I mean? She had to take Bernie and they yeah, left. Until she it, had to suck it up. That's what everybody has to suck it up. Yeah. And well, then I eventually it passed. Get, what I mean, did I say? What did I say? You need to get a motherfucking, go ahead and invest in a fucking nanny, son. That you can, you just don't invest in nannies that just show up. They're not like cleaners. You know, you have to put them on a schedule and. You know, but that's it's what a I'm whole saying. thing. Do you, it, motherfuckers. Just uh, go through the hard part. Everything ain't gonna be easy. You, it just like I had to go through all the landscapers and the maids and all of that shit. You need to do. You need to get it because y'all gonna drive each other crazy. Y'all gonna end up killing each other over that child. <laughs> and thank God you don't have a fuck another one. Uh, Jesus, see, what? yep. All right. God. The the last thing while I'm anyway, this thing should come out in a week, and I and you know, I'll tell you when the birth happens. You can buy me a nice birthing gift. It's nice. Um, oh, I, you should keep it. You should keep it in a little too. I, I do. I have. I have other ones uh, from past. No, I don't want to. You don't want to see. You want to see a new one. A newborn. Want, you think I want to see a dick pebble? No. <laughs> <laughs> think you got a title for the episode? Um, you've also went to the last LA Sparks game of yeah, the season, and this lady said she was gonna bite my titty at halftime, and I said, "Bitch, if you don't get the what? fuck away from me." I'm so, sorry. I mean, this is what. See, this is when I be saying that white people don't be knowing how fucking stupid they be, like, saying stupid shit to me. Like, like, let me tell you something, white people. I love y'all, but I swear y'all some ignorant motherfuckers sometimes when you get around me, man. Wait. And they, and they just like, yeah, she just, because she gave me these earrings earlier, which were cute. They, were, you know, had Brittany Gardner on there or whatever, uh -huh. you know, which, you know, Rainer. and fine. Okay. But then halftime, she drunk and shit, which I hate drunk women. Yeah. God, I hate drunk women. They're the fucking worst. And she comes up to me. She's like, I want to take a picture with you. Now, first of all, first of all, she steps in front of somebody else who's already getting their camera ready to take me. So she grabs me and she's like, yeah, I want to take a picture. And I was like, give me a second. Let me take a picture with this lady. And then I'm going to get to you. And then she's like, well, I gave you earrings. And I was like, bitch, listen, <laughs> 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 bitch, I am from Compton, not SNL, bitch. You will get trolloped in this motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> Halftime room. Do not make me use my goddamn Air Force Ones on the back of your fucking neck. You better step the fuck back. That's why people be like, why you don't got security? I'm my fucking security. I don't, listen, I have a don't give a fuck account. Yeah. Like, I get this bitch 20 after I punch her in her motherfucking face. <laughs> listen, calm the fuck down. So then, so I take the picture with the lady, right? Yeah. And then I turn around. She was like, I gave you earrings. You shouldn't. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I said, you being rude though. You being rude, you stepping in front of the lady. Let's take the picture. She was like, "Well, I want to bite you. I want to bite you up today." I said, "Listen, take the motherfucking picture." How drunk do you have to and be? And then I took the picture, and when she was like, "Well, you should be nice to me," I said, "I don't should be shit to you. You want these raggedy ass earrings back?" And I literally looked at. Her, I said, "Do you want these motherfuckers back?" Then she shut the fuck up. Her and her friend was like, "Oh, you know she drunk. You yeah, fuck her." Like I'm so I'm so tired of everybody not taking accountability for their fucking actions, man. You, you listen, I can be a fucked up person and if that's what you want, I will do that for you. But I'm here trying to enjoy myself just like everybody else. You grabbing on me, drunk and slap that shit is just not cool. That and, and, and it's my favorite person to fuck with when I go to a comedy club and I'm on stage and you've been heckling people all night. So you think that it's okay to do what the fuck you doing, I'm gonna hurt your feelings. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to do exactly to you. That's what I'm saying. That's why I be wanting these situations to happen to me so I can be there. So I can be I, part of the fucking I madness. just need to see this one time. I cannot believe a lady got drunk enough to just say Liddy, Liddy, I want to bite there your with me titty. before. You've been there with me before when people do crazy shit. I know shit. they you do know crazy shit, there. but th I've never seen that one. I mean, that's just You never you've been with me when people have done crazy oh, shit. Oh no, we, we, we almost had a fight in Times Square, yeah. I remember that one. Oh my god, trust. Yeah, you remember when I was going to whoop that lady's yeah, ass? <laughs> in the middle of Times Square, not a good. Yeah. I was going to beat that bitch's ass. I was like, y'all got it fucked. Oh, <laughs> I'm and I'm 6 feet tall and I look like I'm a crazy bitch. Why yep. would you try me? I don't get why people poke bears. I don't either. Behave, people. 
behave. behave when you come up to me. I, I take pictures. If you know me, people will tell you at the, I take pictures with people. I am so kind, but behave, motherfucker. Behave, that's it. Behave. And have your camera ready. She hates when you don't have your camera And ready. have your camera ready. Like, don't go turn it. And then don't ask other people to take the picture for you. Fucking take a selfie. When I get when I see stars and shit, I already have my picture ready. Bam, got that selfie. We done. <laughs> She's I'm that so good. Sick of this shit. Now. She's like a professional <laughs> selfie taker. And <laughs> sick of this shit. Now we will be right back to talk about the other oh half of the game God. that went on at oh the game, my God. the actual game. I'm such a crazy person. Right. Yes, we'll be right back right after this. We're now in our interview segment called "Who the fuck is this." Leslie? Yes. <laughs> you gonna sing for her, Leslie? Nice little segment. Yes, yes. Uh, I call her Slim, you know what I'm saying? But she goes by Brittany Sykes, right? Opposite, but yeah. Did yes. I say, well, let me give her a formal introduction. Let me give her a formal name is Slim. Should I give her the yeah, formal okay. introduction? Today we have a WNBA right. player with the LA Sparks. She's a 5'9 um, guard drafted as the seventh time. overall pick in the 2017 WNBA oh, draft at a Syracuse now. University. Tell she became the highest drafted orange awesome. women's basketball players in school history. In 2020, she was traded to the LA Sparks and just finished her sixth year, averaging 12.7 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 2.5 assists a game. Please welcome number 15, Brittany Slim Sykes. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank Wait a minute, you. where were you traded from? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, I, I went from one hot spot to the next one. Yeah, did mm -hmm. you like it in Atlanta? Oh, I loved it. What, what, what yeah, made you they? come here, though? Well, I got traded, so I ain't have no part in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all don't have no say in that? No, nah, as a rookie, like, I was, it was my third year, and then I want to say this happened in February, like, right before... You know, we was trying to figure out if we was going to have a season or not for that 2020 because oh, of yeah. know, the bubble. That's right. So it was kind of like um, like a fake lockout. You know, we was all in Atlanta and stuff. And I go back to Jersey for a little bit. My agent called me. He's like, yo, you being traded. I was like, for real? So, I mean, it's a part of the game. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I'll be honest. Like, at that point in my career, I was like, I need I need to go somewhere new. Like, I need to grow. Right. I need so to that was cool to yeah. come to L.A. then. So I'm just like, all right, where? You know, because I'm like, I don't want to go just anywhere. And he's like, L.A. I was like, oh, no, nah, you you lying, L.A.? I know you was happy. <laughs> oh, I was hyped. Because I'm like, man, the West Coast, I already got a bit of the East Coast, the South. I'm from Jersey, lived there for 18 years of my life. Like, I'm good. So it was. And L.A. is nice. L.A., I, I'm really starting to, like, uh, get into, yeah, like, the L.A. Yeah. culture. And it's fire. It's Well, the, <laughs> the people are just, you know, you, I mean, it's just like on any coast. You know, West Coast, I mean, East Coast has the worst weather, but the people are just, like, you know, solid. Yeah, come on, you know let's go. We don't have the weather, worst though. weather. We just, we worse. just, we just have. Y'all have seasons. We have all the seasons, though. Yeah, but they be fucking awful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I went to Syracuse, so I was, you feel me, upset. Oh, my God. The frozen so, tundra. Oh, my God. Right. I went to Syracuse one time and did a gig, and I was like, what get month? me what the month? fuck. When it was the snowiest month. That's your fault. It's <laughs> my fault, for real. In a pool bar, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. How you motherfuckers live here? Like, the ground was hard with ice. Like, it was crazy. We we stayed there when nobody was there, like, during the, um like, uh what is it, Christmas break? We would stay there. So we would be playing games, flying in and out. They wouldn't Ugh. plow the snow on the roads because nobody was there. Like, Syracuse is a college town. Yeah. yeah. So we was we was out of luck. Shit oh out of luck. Oh, my God. That is crazy. First of all, you one of my favorite fucking players on the team. I swear to God. I just be like, Slim is insane. <laughs> Between you and Kennedy, but but you you just insane. Like mm -hmm. you're not a, a a. I think you're supposed to be technically a point guard, right? No, nah, off guard. I'm I'm a, I'm a, like originally my position is like a three. Like I I'm because of my athleticism, right? right? Really? So I'm like a small forward. Okay. But then you could put me as like a slasher, and but then you could yeah, say like I combo would, guard. Yeah, but you need to be a point guard. No, nah, I mean point guard is definitely part so of my resume strong. now. Like, but see, but whenever the ball is in your hand, I go okay. I'm. I'm not scared about nobody <laughs> taking it. I'm not scared. So we say I'm, playmaker then. Because, I mean, like, I, I do you have make to play shit the point happen. guard position. You make shit. Whatever that position is called. Whatever it is. I call it a working guard. Say, say less. Because when I say, when she gets in the game, it's like, okay, what the fuck is she going to do? And you <laughs> never know what she where she's going to be. Me and the guy that said, the guy that sits beside me, his name is Jackson. Yeah. We be losing our mind. Because there's some moves that you do, and we be like, where the fuck did she come from? <laughs> she be blocking shots. She be getting rebounds. 
She, I mean, it's just like fucking incredible playing. Like she plays, you, she reminds me of Fat Lieber. I know that's a crazy reference, but just a crazy working guard. Like can shoot outside, can fucking, because you remember when I first saw you, I was like, no, drive the basket, drive the basket. Well, I, I remember his name was like, I, I got you. And then would just go hit three threes and just like, oh, well, you can shoot out there too, though. If, if that's what you're going to do. I mean, if you're going to just go do that, all right, go ahead and do it. Man, look, I, it's just, it's like, I don't know. As, as I got older throughout my career, I, I had to develop that shot because being the athletic player that I am, mm -hmm. I hit the, you know, I hit the floor. You hit so, that motherfucker. So now. Like, it's like she see four defenders and she'd be like, okay. <laughs> she'd be like, nah, where you going? Yeah. And she will make the shot. It'd just be like, she'll do some shit where she wrapped it around now, her and be I'm like. I'm not going to lie. That first basket, that first basket <laughs> in the last game where I did like the little up. Yeah. Down, I'm not going to lie. That was like vintage. That was high school. Yo, My when I say went out. she went, she went, <laughs> she did like a a, a, a dip in and, and like dip the, and went around. I was like, shit. I promise you my back almost went out. Because literally, really? if you go back and you, like, if you, if they had the camera facing my mouth, I literally went and I was like, oh, shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> like my back kind of was like, Ugh. So is it like some moves that you can't really it's, do no more? Yeah, or? It's, like, it's, so, it's, it's not even moves. It's just more so like some, just some acrobatic things that mm -hmm. it just take a little more energy. Okay. And so I do a lot more, like my, what I had to do this season was a lot more than I've probably done in my career. Yeah. You, know you had I mean? to take a lot of space. You know, so it's like I had to guard the best player and I had to, you know, figure out and make some shape. And I'm doing that in probably like an average of 30 minutes. So. Yeah, she's knocking balls out of people's hands. <laughs> she's running up behind my foot. Like, it's just like a working guard. And see, right now to me, I feel like y'all got to work harder because y'all don't have a big person. Yeah. And I, I feel like if y'all get you two big people, <laughs> man, that will free you up. That'll free Shanae up. That'll free Neca up. That'll yeah. free all y'all up to do what y'all do because well, we'll the big person. Will, yeah, and then they'll have hands. Y'all be, I know you. I, I mean, know we, hear we're, me we're menace. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I know you hear me on the side. I right? love watching you on the side. Sometimes <laughs> I watch the game back just to see your reaction because that shit, I promise you, it is hilarious. Like, the first time you came, I think he was on the baseline. He was on the baseline, and I'm like, Yo, who is that? I was like, and then I'm like, because I couldn't see that far. Cause like, I was going crazy. Yo, Cause my my eyes is like, I, I can't see shit, which is crazy. Right. Like as as much as we play, but people pay attention. I be squinting at the scoreboard. Cause yeah. I be like, I be like, I be trying to figure out what's going on. So you down there, you going crazy? I'm like, is that Leslie? <laughs> bro, it'd be loud. I was like, what the hell? And then like I'm talking to you know my teammate Forty. I'm like, bro, she is wild over there. <laughs> And then the first, I swear, Mike, Mike is my witness. The first time we dapped up, you grabbed me so hard, I, I felt did, like my fucking I, spine. I did not, and I was so excited. I was so excited. My I grabbed spine. her, and I'm like, oh my god, Leslie, you're about to crush this poor girl. I'm like, damn, it I felt was like so a, fired. I was like, yeah, I, I felt like a damn crunching water bottle. Like the way, like you know, you squeeze water. I'm so sorry. It's like, oh shit. Oh my god. Leslie. And then, like after, every time after that, I was like, all right, embrace yourself. <laughs> I was like. Like, embrace yourself because this is going to be some deep love. You know what I mean? But it's like, I appreciated it, though. I appreciated it because it was like, that was genuine, like, genuine excitement Man, and love. you don't even know. Because I, I, I wrote you, I'm like, I felt bad because it was like, uh -uh. after the game, we had to get out of there because we had to leave. No, you had to, yeah. We had to go on the road. And I, I was knew. like, damn, I ain't get my dad to last. I'm like, that's my routine at this point. I knew, I knew. I was like, and no, what I loved is that the last game, all of them came over. And I know to to this day, I will always say I was a twelve year old and I could not they were all coming over and I was like Oh my god, they're coming over It was I was so like Oh my god this is so I got to finally tell Ray Burrell that I loved her clothes. Yeah. She has the dopest outfits yeah. ever. And it's just like, speaking to NECA and all of them, it just was like, oh, my God, they know I'm here. Yeah, we, <laughs> believe me. We all see. We be talking about it in the locker room. We be like, bro, you seen Leslie on the sideline? We be in there like, bro, did you see her jump up and down? <laughs> Yo, because when they make certain, I will run the baseline. I know. I, and look, every time the refs come in, I talk shit to the refs. Yeah. Oh, I, thank I you. be like, what's up, yo? So we <laughs> gonna have a good game we calling it both sides like please thank you can that probably get them in good spirits can you he yeah 
Can you hear the people yeah, in the crowd? You hear me? Do you like, hear that? Yes. Hands up! Hands up! Because yes. I'm always I'm, yelling hands I'm, up. I'm genuinely on your side of the floor most times in our offices because it's going back to my right hand. Mm. Okay. So when I'm on that side or if I'm defending a player, they're usually away from the ball coming to the ball. So mm. I hear you all the time. That <laughs> shit be having me weak. I think I, I had said something to you like once or twice. I had came down and we was getting smacked and you looked at me and you was like, shit, you trying slim? <laughs> <laughs> And I just looked at you and I was like, shit, you see me? I'm just, I'm just trying. Yo, man. and I be talking shit to the other players too. Like when Candace came, I was like, Candace, you ain't trying to come back to LA? What's up with you? Like, come on, come play with Nessie Jones. I don't even know why you're doing this. I talk so much shit. I, I forgot it was number four on one of them teams. I was like, look at number four. You got one more time to hit my player. And we're going we gonna to run out there. Yo, when y'all look like y'all about to be fighting, you, you don't see me jump up? Yeah. Like they have to grab me. Like the two white boys be like, yo, you can't run out there. I was like, oh, okay. Every time I'm telling you, when they do like the 2K view of the game, like when we coming down in transition oh and they like, they pan out and they mm -hmm. got the sideline, bro, you are there every time. Okay. Every time. Every time. And every I just game. See I did not miss a home game. No, I you did didn't. not miss a home Never. game. I made sure all my schedule was scheduled you around was, the home you game. Was, you was like, Five seconds late to one. I remember. No, I was a half an hour late to one of them. And I That's why I gave you five so, seconds. That's like five I was seconds so in that late time. Mad. I was so mad. And then the ref gonna have a nerve to look at me and go, Yeah, you was late today. I was like, Yeah, but was you calling though? <laughs> was you calling like this <laughs> bullshit he, when he, I wasn't here? <laughs> he checking the wrong clock. Like <laughs> he checking the wrong clock. Like, no, you didn't say I was late, bitch. Like, what's up? Like so, so are you coming back? Is everybody coming back, or is it just I don't you don't know? That I don't type know, of stuff. Man. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let me let me not, let me. Okay. Well, it let wasn't a me. great year, but people got hurt on your team, right? Is that what happened this yeah. year? Yeah, I really injuries. feel like y'all are a great team. Y'all just need two big people to mix it up. Y'all yeah. are a great team. Everybody got their skill. Ken Kennedy, yeah, man, is insane. That 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 that's a a microwave junior. Like she like Bay Williams just, is like the original microwave. She, she just got to stay up out of her head. That's all Kidney got to do is stay up out of her head. Man. And she is freaking insanely She's an insane talented. Athlete. She's insane so player. good. And then, you know, the sisters, NECA yeah. and, their, and their Shanae are different. just like wonder twin powers. Indeed. You know, I feel like sometimes they even miss each other on the floor if they're not on the floor <laughs> with, together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, like I, I, I just want, I want a good coach for y'all. I want, I want, first of all, I want the women's league to be more legitimate too. Like, mm. I mean, do you like playing with that ball? I fuss at the owner all the time about the basketball. I mean, it's kind of cool now. It you has, okay it has, with it? It has some more grip to it, honestly. Okay. Like the the new ball, I, I like it. Most people that play with it, we all say we like it. it it's not a bad ball. It's not because I I like I didn't learn how to play basketball on the globe try to fucking ball. Like I feel <laughs> like they gave y'all that ball, and it just makes it not a legitimate thing. No, it's it's it's, it's a legitimate ball. Like it's, okay. I, if it if anything like that ball is easier to play with. Try playing with the FIBA balls. Them yeah. balls ain't got no grip. Mm. They ain't got no like, grip. You playing with like backyard balls. See now, I thought there was only one person who made the basketballs in Everlasting, right? Am I? No, there's no, this plenty void. of different things. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's, Nike that, makes that, a ball. Damn, I say, nobody wants to play with a <laughs> Nike ball. I'm just saying, nobody everybody makes a Nike basketball. Nobody, nobody void wants to play used to make all the balls. Ball. Who it's does? probably fucking like flat. What do I used to play with in high school? And Probably Wilson. Wilson, Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So why y'all don't use Wilson balls? <laughs> Wilson they had better technology. <laughs> I don't know. You guys leave that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's them like, bitch, what? <laughs> no, because it's one of them. I, I don't know how I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do off season? What do you do off season? Well, right now, <clears throat> I'm preparing to go to Hungary. So I'm about to so go to- you're going to play yeah, gonna on play, their team? Yeah, so prime. So how does- Can you tell me how that shit works? Yeah. How does that work? Like, do you guys- Y'all already have, do you play for different teams or yeah. play for the same team? No, no, no. So so throughout my career, so I I played, what, six years in the league, and then I played five overseas because I sat out my second year for a foot rehab. So my first year I played in Israel, and then my second year in the league, I mean, in overseas, I played in Turkey. Spain, oh, okay. Turkey, and I also played in Australia recently. So Hungary will be a new city. Well, what, what, how does that work? Like... 
Do you get recruited? So like, so like or? your agent, you have an agent, right? Okay. And so your agent talks to to teams, and these teams overseas reach out to you. Like they oh, okay. reach out to your agent, they be like, "Hey, we really like this player. We want to, we want her to play for us. Okay. You get a contract. You put whatever you want in that <laughs> hoe, and then you just go over there." So, so my thing is, why do y'all get in trouble for doing that? It's not that we get in trouble for doing it. It's more so like the back end of things when the the overseas teams were playing in playoffs and 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 so like the team I'm with is Euroleague, so they're we're playing two games a week. Okay. We're playing Hungarian league and we'll play the Euro Euro uh, Euro League league. Okay. Right. So we'll play <clears throat> either Wednesday Thursday for your league and then like a Friday or Saturday for that. That can prolong your return to the W. Oh. So that's where it gets kind of sticky. And that's where oh. whole, like the whole CBA thing come into play, where oh. we have to return at a certain time. Or so yeah. when you make the deal, do you tell the team, "Hey, I have to leave early"? Nah, or? everybody, no, it's not, it's not, it's no elephant in the room. Like everybody know, like okay, after this is I'm here for this amount of time, and I'm there for an amount of time. Okay, just like how when our season ends, we get a certain amount of time before we got to report over there. But then that's when you know you play the haggling game. Like, hey, look, I need a little more time because X, Y, Z, Z, you know. Type and there's of thing. a time you can go over where they'll be mad and won't let you come back or no 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 okay. like no 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 you get to go over there you have a set time then there's like the fever breaks where you can come home you can come home for like a week or two depending on your team depending on oh, no shit. like yeah no nah, you get to come back now do the men get to, do yeah the men, men is the stuff? men is honestly i can't speak too much on the men's side but i do know from like my guy friends it's it's way more um strict yeah way more strict because of how demanding the men's league is overseas compared to the women's league, like women's league, you get demanded for sure. Like it's, but the men's league, that junk is crazy. Do you go? Right? Like, do you go crazy. for the money, or do you go to for the to keep your, you know, to keep playing? Yeah, because I was gonna say you will, uh, my, you'll be a like crazy good if you continuously playing and with different yeah. people all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, I mean for me it's two things. For me, obviously, yeah, it's like a a source of income right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also go for the experience because if if I'm living somewhere for eight months out the year, I want to you know be able to come back and talk about that shit. Yeah, but that's cool that you playing with a different like that's like a different skill you learn. Well, yeah, too. I mean you you learning you learning survival skills, you learning adapt like you adapting over there because they don't speak your language too well. And like, you gotta learn how to play. You with gotta learn how to play with different players, yeah. communicate without you know what I mean. Speaking a few words, I probably say the the no, nah, I want to say the hardest. Cause I'm I'm pretty adaptable. Like I, I like to adapt, like mm-hmm. like a damn chameleon or some shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? But, but it's that's, like that's, a that's how you keep. Go- you know what I mean? Like that's, that's how you keep going. That's how you keep good too. Yeah, so it's like one of them things where it's like shit. All right, how can I figure out how to talk to this person? How can I figure out how to talk to that person? But see, that's a good guard too, though. Like that's a like a good guard too. Like I'm gonna have to get the ball to you. So let's communicate. Like, what, what like, can we, and yeah. one, one, two, three. Like, what's one, two, and three that we can say that to each so, other? That is so, man. Like, I, oh, that's all we need. Like, we can figure out the, the, the all, because I'm very observant. So it's like, nine times ten, I don't really need you to say nothing. Like, I'm going to read it, I'm going to feel it, and we're going to keep it pushing. And that's yeah. a good guard, you man. Know what I mean? like, that's I, a good guard. I need some go-tos. Like, I need one, two, and three. Like, all right, if you feeling like, okay, you got the shot today, boom, I'm doing this with you. Like, if you feeling like you need the ball in your hand, do it, boom, I got you if I'm in that position. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's no confusion. Like, I'm, I'm, I just need full communication. I had a guard in high school, Anita. She mm-hmm. only spoke Spanish. And we knew everything Anita was doing. She would look at us and she'd be like, Yep. Or she'd be like, or do something. Uh-huh. Or she'd do something. And we'd be like, oh, we know what she, we knew everything yeah. that we needed to do with her. And that's a good guard. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, oh my God, I would love to see you play overseas. What do you, uh, well, I mean, I'll make sure I send you the links. They have, Please. You have a, well, you're a league for sure. All you gotta do is go on YouTube and then type in your league women and uh, and then look for Sopron. Because I I'm bet you the, just, yo, show your ass. Nah, overseas is a different animal. Because, like, I'm glad you said that good, because, they that good too. oh my gosh, because you gotta think, all right, so another reason why most people go overseas is because they don't really get to get off in the WNBA. Yeah, because like, it's so many fouls called and no, all that. No, no, but not even fouls. We're just talking about opportunity. Okay. Like when when you talk about when the league, like you see these players playing, like you you see the Mees, you see the Neckas, you know, you see the Sues, you see the Breeze. But then there's some of these rookies that you know that are you know sitting on the bench a little bit, or you got these players who are still up and coming in that little space of like three or four years. Mm-hmm. They got to go overseas and develop. 
Oh, Hell, even okay. Olivia, like you know, Olivia Nelson, like she Olivia, go, go overseas and, de- she, she and develop. Is, she is going to be amazing, fucking amazing, amazing. I want her to get some weight. That's all she needs. But yeah, her. but she's a rookie. So but that's where that's where that overseas girl come is in. Good already as a rookie. But that's where over. She's fearless. So like that's already that's, that's what, already half the that's already that's what. And I would tell Liz this all the time. I was like, that's what we need from you, fearlessness. <laughs> you need to be fearless. And I was like, you know, I know what it is. You know, I've I've played that position. You know, you got to love it. You got to love doing it. Mm-hmm. You got to love being there. You got to love doing it. And you got to have a passion. My coach used to scream to He's blue in the face. He's like, it doesn't matter how much I scream. If you don't love it, you're not going to have it. Well, okay. well Leslie, you know? what was, or anybody, what was Liz's problem? I mean, what, why? I, I, I think, I think, I think that sometimes people just need to find out where they belong. You know, sometimes you, you when I was coming up, I always thought that I was going to be this player. I thought I was going to go overseas and do all that stuff. Mm. I was only playing basketball because my dad liked basketball. Mm. I did not like basketball as much as he thought that I liked it. Mm. But it was something I did well. Mm. And I could get a scholarship and all of that. But when it came down to it, and they was like, yeah, you can go overseas and do all this. I was like, oh, fuck that. Hey, it ain't for everybody, man. <laughs> I don't want to work out every day. <laughs> it ain't for everybody. I fucking hate this shit, son. I used to have to be in a way. I hated playing basketball. I could imagine overseas, like, during, like, like back in the day. No, compared, I didn't go. No, no, I'm I never saying, went, like, but, compared ooh, to what I bet it is it was now. Awful. I mean, I've heard stories about overseas, but, like, I can, I can honestly say I'm grateful that I haven't had any no bad experiences. Bad experiences. Like, have I come across some crazy coaches, some crazy teammates? Yeah, that's Hell what yeah. I was going like, to say. It's, that's normal. Like, I had, I had one coach in Turkey. He was talking to me crazy, right? And <laughs> he was, like, one of the, one of the assistant coaches. The thing, the thing about it is, it's, like, sometimes, like, coaches are, like, or just people in general. Like, they'll just see how far they can go. And then, like, really? I'm, a, I'm a cool person. So, it's, like, I... I'll let you go as only but so far. So one of the one of the sister coaches, something happened in practice. He just like started yelling. Mind you, he never yelled at me before. Never like you know what I mean. Never came out of out his out of his character. So I look at him like, wait a minute, what's going on? So we get to the. I, I looked at him and I said, hey coach, I was like, I don't I don't really know who you're speaking to, but respectfully, bro, like I know it ain't me. I was like, I I don't know who you're yelling at. Like you could talk to me, but I was like, don't yell at me because like we we are adults. Yeah, this day. is not. I'm. This not high school. And I'm a this woman. Not college. You know what I mean? Is, I'm a this woman. Is like, like, yeah. Respect me as a woman, cause like we ain't we about to get. We ain't about to do this. So we, we about to get rattled. We in the huddle, and the head coach was like, "All right, you got one more time to talk to my coach like that." And I was tying my shoe, and I just, I swear, I just looked up. I was like, "Nah, coach, you got one more time to, <laughs> to, to think that we gonna talk like this to each other, and think something not about to happen." Like, yeah. And I'm. It ain't. It don't. It ain't got to be fighting, but it's like, nah, bro, like. Like don't talk. Don't to me talk like to that. me like that. Like just that's the last thing. I don't. I don't. I don't want to fight nobody. I never claimed to to be no no fighter. Like don't. But I always say don't fuck with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like 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 I'm not a fighter. But don't fuck with me. But at the same time, respect me because I'm gonna talk to you with some sense. And if I can't talk to you with some sense, I ain't gonna talk to you at all. At all, yeah. Like I ain't gonna talk to you at all. So because I don't want to get into that position where it's like now I gotta put actually me in that space. yeah, like you put me in that space right now. I actually gotta come out of character because I got to I got to use my yeah. My imagination yeah. is wild, especially so it's like, men. When men come at you like that, you be like, motherfucker, I know you think. I know you think. I know you think, <laughs> but I will slap the fucking taste out of you. It'll be a tussle. You might whoop my ass. You might. I trust and believe. We coming out with some licks though. You gonna leave. <laughs> That motherfucker fight going, God damn it, I wish that hadn't happened. You're going to come up with some licks. That's a fact. You're going to come up with some bruises. I'm going to ask the next question carefully then. <laughs> no. no, let's hear it then. No, no, no. I'm just You already got three strikes. I got yeah, three strikes. Exactly. I don't even remember what the first one was. Um, you, you're not a caffeine person because you, like Leslie, very high energy. Yeah. That's what I read. Yeah, I read nah. yeah were... I drink, um, what was it, Celsius? So we're gonna kick my ass. <laughs> what is what is Celsius? What is that? It's a bomb energy drink. Oh, oh wow! It's, it's, what does it taste like? It tastes like juice, but it is amazing. Really? Yeah, it's I, like no sugar, no nothing. We I'm gonna have to talk Celsius. Talk I to me because I, <laughs> I, I'd be taking five hours if I need no 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 one. no no. I'm telling you, try it. No, you try the Celsius, the kiwi guava, the guava kiwi guava, okay. or the or the passion okay, fruit. Okay, no, for real. No, <laughs> Celsius, like the actual degree. Yeah. Celsius. Like, you do not like need Celsius. that, Leslie. Listen, listen. I, look, you th- don't know my life. They are something serious. <laughs> look, look, there it is, right <laughs> look, there on bone. the screen. Uh, send me that uh, link, it uh, is, Judith. It is amazing. Like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that shit. We gonna have to chop this. Hey, Judith, see to, if they can yeah. be one of our sponsors. Michael, <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I need you to do. Thank you, sir. 
We yeah, gonna I'm going to get him. <laughs> send this to them. Send me a box, goddamn. <laughs> Shit. That's free. what I said. <laughs> this ain't no free send promo. Send a box, goddamn. This ain't no free motherfucking ain't no free promo. promo. That's the <laughs> that first thing. Up. Yeah, my manager, she is like the funniest person ever. Every time I, I like get on a, a, a Zoom or like an interview or something, she'd be like, ah, oh, take that shit out the screen. She's like, ain't no free promo. I'm mm. like, all right, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just like me. I'd be like, oh, so how much they paying us for that one? Uh, yeah, no. But so, what is the what? Is, what is like? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You said you love legendary. Oh yeah. Did you see my episode? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I fucking love. No, please tell me. You gotta tell me. Okay. How so, that shit was for you because okay. I watched season one to season three like all the way. They through. are fucking amazing. Yo, that shit is crazy. The the first season was really the gangster one when Nuts. the girl did the flip off the fucking wall. Yeah, I yeah. was And then went into a duck wall. I was like, God. Damn girl, your knees nah, but, is nah, done. Nah, but that. But season three though, juicy, juicy. Oh my juicy. god, juicy couture was the <laughs> shit. Revlon was good too. Revlon and, was good, but what was the girl's name? Brooklyn. Bro- yo, goddamn Brooklyn. Hey, that you know what's bitch. crazy? I tried to get Laomi on to to the New York show. She almost came. Oh my god, where did my mother? Yeah, where did my mother? Is, I, I, I talked to her all the time. Yeah, yeah. I can get her for Leo. No, no, no is, I, I, I connected with her is on so Instagram. Dope. Isn't like, she dope? I, bro, she is so dope. And I was like, I talked to her. I got my manager to talk to her. We tried to get her to game, but she wasn't in town because we played them back to back games. I was trying to get her so bad because me and Jordan do the the freaking yeah this yeah like when we we when we celebrate <laughs> we literally like we'll we'll do this and then we'll clap hands. Yo, for real, one of my favorite. So. They they asked me which episode I wanted to do, and I was like the fairy tale one because mm. I love playing the villain since sixth grade. <laughs> uh, they made me the witch, uh, Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, <laughs> and I was so sad. I was like, I was. They made me the witch. I ran home. I cried. I was like, Mom, they made me the witch. I don't know why they would do that to me. They think I'm a witch. And my mom was like, Wait a minute, they made you the witch? And I was like, Yeah, that's so fucked up. She was like. Like that's the star of the I'm about cast. To say, that's a bad I was bitch. like, it's Hansel, Gretel, and then the witch. Bitch, you are on the top. And I was yeah, that's she the creme runs, de la creme. She runs through the house. She made me a outfit, all this shit. And ever since then, and I won. I won the con I won the, the parade, the, the best character in the parade, because I embraced it. Oh. I came on a broom, everything. I flew <laughs> into the audience, all this shit. So ever since then I always wanted to be the villain. And they was like, "What a fairy tale! I want to be a black Maneflicent." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that, now the concept was hard. Yo, the horns, the horns were braids. Tough. Those were braids. Wow. Yeah, yeah, those were braids. The the wings, all that shit. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, they went off. They went <laughs> no, hard. No, That's that, why they won for costumes. No, and I love. I loved like the entrances. Like I looked forward to all. So the, good, dude, right? Laws commentary. Okay, and at first I could not stand Law, but. Ah! I could I not stand did. him. I was like, that is just unnecessary. But the second season, I was like, okay, I, you got to hear him go. You came, you, you did, did what, what needed, needed to, to be, be done. done. So that's, you started loving. And then, you know, all of them, they just all now. Kiki yeah, no. is really good, too. Oh, I love Don't Kiki you love on the Kiki? show. I love Kiki on the show. Such a good show. Yeah, man. no, that show, Jamila, all of them, she fine. Okay. Isn't the New York team going to the playoffs? I'm just, are they? I think they Wow. Oh. Is that no now nah, I will whoop your ass on that one right there. No, nah, they might be going, but we gonna take that but motherfucker look, next look, year. You though. see where he said that shit at, right? Yeah. yeah. In, in New whole, York. Yeah. In New York. He ain't <laughs> say that shit in the same because we would have beat I'm your no ass. Like, I'm no idiot. We would have yeah, surrounded by them ass. four squares. <clears throat> you also, yeah, exactly. He also traded your draft. You know <clears throat> So you got problems. Anyway. I ain't trade shit. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> motherfucker. I ain't trade shit. It doesn't matter. Like Leslie will be there anyway. But you know what? I know. And I want y'all to get paid. Like, yes. freaking. Listen, yeah. y- you should get paid. I was looking at your stats. You're like a very, very well rounded basketball player. I mean, yeah, I, I went down the rabbit hole today. Why didn't you make the All Star team? I'm mad that you wasn't on the All Star team. I mean, shoot. Just, on real talk. It just, I mean, honestly, I don't know. With things like that, I feel like. I'm able to continue to do what I'm doing because I know that like shit like that don't define me okay. as a player. Like, would it be nice? Hell yeah! Like, I made a rule for myself um, that I wouldn't go to an All Star game or a weekend until I became one because I wanted to know what it is when right. I get there. And you know, some people tell me like, "Oh, well, maybe you need to go so you can see how it feels." I'm like, "Nah, fuck that! I want to see how it feels I when I be. get there." Yeah, you know when what you want to be, because then that gives me that well, makes you, me hungry. You and are All Star, homie. I, I mean, for I real. I appreciate that. Like, do 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 I feel like okay? Yeah, I could have been one, but also, you know, 
I think that this year uh, I shouldn't have been one for the simple fact that like, I wasn't consistent enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To where it's like somebody was talking about me after every you don't game. Think so? I think you was so no, I think, steady. I think, like, I, I, think like I was consistent, was our, right? You, I, like, you was our root. Though. Yeah, but I, I, I feel that. But it's like, I feel like I wasn't consistent enough in the sense of like, like the... Like superstar. Yeah, thing. like I wasn't like doing the shit that I did all August. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't doing that right, all season during but that that's time. that's fucking hard, man. Yeah, you is, on but, your body. But that's why they call you an all-star though, right? Yeah. Well, you also Ooh. have to always guard the best player on the other Damn. team, right? And yeah, then you have to provide I'm offense I mean, on the other but end. But I want really that hard. though. But that's but that's what I took on though. Right. So it's like I can't sit here and complain. Like you know what I'm saying? Like right. I can't sit here and be like, oh man, my job is so hard. It's like, you know, I, <laughs> I want to guard the best. You, like all around, yeah, like I'd be a tired. I'd be tired of shit. Yeah, like, they play you like a lot, and they should. They should. <laughs> I'd be tired as hell. But you know what I'm saying? Like I asked for that because I because like I got injured in college, and then I had my injury in in, in the league my second year. So it's kind of like. I promised myself that if I had the opportunity to come back and play, like I would never take that shit for granted. So that's why I, I go so hard. Cause yeah, because gonna... I was going to say the injuries, when you come back from an injury, how hard is that? Mentally, that shit is hard. Like really? physically, I feel like physically, if you're a professional, like, yeah, it's going to be hard, but like you're a pro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like physically, you should be able to dominate. It's here that's going to get the physical going even more. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the mental and emotional toll that uh, that an uh, injury takes on you, it's a lot. Like I talk to my, I talk to a therapist in college. I talk to a therapist to. as a pro. Like you got it. You have to do that Damn. shit. Because if you don't, yeah. you will go insane. Because that that sounds like that's insane. It's like, heavy. Because then you you're not just dealing with, you feel me? Just the injury. You you dealing with all right with with our league. We get paid in like four to five months, and then you go overseas. I didn't go overseas after I got hurt. So now I got to figure out how to make some bread in the off season. Cause now I'm it's my second year in the league, so it's like it's not like I have anything See, else going on. Now how do we change that shit? How do we get that shit changed? I mean, there's opp- there's more opportunities like allotted to WNBA players in the off season if they don't want to go overseas or if they can't go overseas. Like there's mm-hmm. opportunities that they present where you can go to school or they they'll pay. No, for, but like, I'm saying stuff. more money, man. How we get y'all more money? You just gotta keep trying. Like yeah. literally, I mean, they're trying to expand. You see, they're trying to expand. More money's getting poured into the league. It just takes time. What are we in our what twenty? What if I'm twenty eight? 26, 26, 27? Yeah, somewhere in there. It's 26. Years? 26? 26, right? Yeah. I'm 28. Yeah, so 26. Years. 26 years. Yeah, so yeah. 26 years. And if you go back, even if, like, hey, like I don't even want to compare it to the NBA, but if you go back and you look at the NBA, too, at 25 years old, they suck, too. Okay. Like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, okay. They suck, too. Like, the, the, the NBA really didn't take off. I don't know what year, but I know it wasn't year 25 because I remember when we were in our 25th year, that was the conversation, like, oh, in 25 years, like, the league didn't do anything. The league is broke, this, that, and other. And that's a lie. Like, the league's not broke. But at the same time, it's only been 25 years. Right. This is a major freaking business. Like, this yeah. is this has got a lot of tap-in potential. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's just like, it just, the door's got to open. Because y'all play, y'all play like it should be played. Like, defense and not no run and gun. It's like. Yeah, it's a mix. Like, every team got a different little mix to them. It's such good play. And, no, it's, I'm telling you, and this is. On real, cause you know I'm a real motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But and I played basketball, but I could not stand watching women play. Mm-hmm. It was just always like titties everywhere, <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> slumping, fucking, <laughs> it's just, you know, sm- you know, smacking each other. It's just like oh, it's just what? uncoordinated. <laughs> the first game I came to, where are you watching? Game- where are these titties Man, everywhere? I don't know. What league was that? Man, that's how I feel. When I was in college, I stopped <laughs> watching women's basketball as soon as I stopped playing in college. I was like, I don't want to watch that shit no more. It's just uncomfortable. Titties just flying out. <laughs> they probably ain't had a right bra. Just, no, they didn't have a right bra. <laughs> and then, you know, it's just, just unfashionable. But when I came to y'all first game. What team was that? Do you remember what team? I don't remember what team y'all played the first night. Do you remember the month? It was a home stretch, wasn't it? We was home a lot. Probably yeah, but I just remember the first game. It yeah. was our first season opener. It was the season opener. Who we play our season opener? Ooh. I just child. remember thinking, holy shit. What did we play? These was it Minnesota? These motherfuckers play like dudes. No, no, no. Was it Minnesota our season opener? <laughs> what was the first uh, uh, game, the season opener for the WNBA? Lord, it's not Minnesota. No, it wasn't. I, I don't have that. It wasn't Minnesota. That was like our third game. But I was just like, holy no, shit. No, it wasn't Connecticut. And then the way that the big people played, all I kept we thinking was. We lost or we won? Y'all, I think y'all, wait a minute, I think y'all won that first game. If we won, who was it? Was it Indiana? 
Minnesota? I, I wasn't tripping. Minnesota was our first game. Yo, when I... We s- lost and won. We lost, yeah. That well, was, I that just was the remember game being excited. Yeah, I remember that game. Well, yeah. I just remember thinking my coach would have drink. He would have been... He would have died if I came out and played half as good <laughs> as as any of those players that was on the... Now, yeah, did okay. Samuelson tell you the story about what? a dad? No. What happened? Okay, so... Oh, Lord, please tell me. You know I'm going to tell you because that's... I, I, <laughs> I got to because it's hilarious. Please tell me. So, I went to school with her father. Oh, shit. So, when I first came to the game and I saw her name, Samuelson, I was like... I was like, that's such a unique name. I was like, that's coincidence. There's no way that she's related to John Samson. No. So after the game, I stayed after the game and talked to Liz, and she came out, and I was like, oh, my God, you you play so good because she plays just like a father, I swear. Katie Lee. Like, so good. So I told Katie, I said, yo, this might be a coincidence, and you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but do you have, like, an uncle or is, is your brother or something named John Samson? She was like, yeah, my dad. And I was like, did he go to Chapman College? She was like, yeah, he's right there. So I turned no around way. and I go, Samuelson, because that's what we used to call him, Samuelson. And he turned around because he immediately, yeah. he goes, I said, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, right? That's crazy. So he comes down, I go, you broke my fucking heart. Everybody goes, what the fuck are you talking about? So oh my God. in college, when I, when I, when I first got to Chapman, let me tell you something. Samuelson was heavy. He was more heavier, uh-huh. but that motherfucker could play. Uh-huh. And I was the only one who had a crush on him. Oh, Because he was saying, I had a big crush on him. Yeah. I was like, I'm in love with John Samuelson, right? Then he goes away for the summertime. He comes back hottie, like lost weight, like hottie. For some reason, mullets was in. I don't understand. <laughs> this, I never understood. <laughs> but he had some kind of like mohawk mullet type mm-hmm. thing. Everybody was, all the girls was going crazy with him. I still had the true pride love that I had right. before, right? So this girl that went to college with me, this bitch who's claimed to be my friend, she followed me from high school. <laughs> bitch, if I ever see you, hey, I'm going to punch you in your motherfucking face. Oh, don't think we friends. We ain't. So she goes, <laughs> she goes, I know that you like him, and I'm going to go talk to him for you. Oh. And I was like, okay. So she goes, talk to him, and why they start dating. Oh. Oh, hardcore. Hardcore dating. <laughs> That's not their mom, right? N- not Katie Lou and their mom? Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, nah, I don't know. Oh. So uh, and he looking at me. No, no, not, no, not his mom. <laughs> Hell no, fuck that bitch. No, that bitch didn't get that lucky. So, and she only fucked with him because I liked him. Trust me. So, she, <laughs> I'm telling this story, and John, he's standing there, he's like, please don't tell my daughters I fuck black girls in college. Oh, <laughs> sh- come on. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like looking like <laughs> sorry Slim sorry you had to hear that Slim <laughs> yo what's crazy is like me 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 and Katie live in the same building so as soon as I see her I'm gonna be like yo <laughs> why why did you keep this from me we literally went out after the last game we went all we all went out to the bars with me me her her sisters we all drink, uh, we all you know having fun having drinks <laughs> And then, like, we go to the beach, and you just just left that shit out. You just like, left that out. We was having a great time. <laughs> all the memories. You just left out the fact that Leslie Jones and your daddy was in college together. Like, oh my right, god! Say and, and never got to fuck with him. No. I was like, damn it. What's the crazy part is I didn't even. I, this is my first time ever seeing her dad. Right. So it's like this just tall white dude standing yeah. in the crowd, and I see Carly, which is her her, yeah, her sister, 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 right next to him. So I go to Lou, and I'm like, yo, this was for the game. I was like, hey. That's how I do. That's your dad. He's <laughs> like, I look just alike. Yeah. And like, Katie Lou, when I say plays it's just like him, just like the killer jump shot, mm. that turn that yep. she does, that's, that's it fucking wow. John Samuelson. When she did that move, I, I, I looked back at John. <laughs> I looked back at John. I was like, she played just like you, dude. Yeah. It was crazy. Lou be killing him with that two dribble pull up. Little Man, bink, little yeah, shoulder um, shake. that was his move. I said, okay, Lou. That is so <laughs> Lou got some, hilarious. Lou got some paprika. In I her. was like, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Lou got some fucking like, paprika in him. <laughs> <laughs> so then he goes, yeah. So then I went over to England, and that's where I met my wife. Yeah, uh, yeah, hey. motherfucker. But before, before your wife though, everything happened for a reason. Leslie knows the, the truth. Chocolate 
Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. I know you're a free so agent. Excited. You could come to New York. I'll take care of you here. Man, fuck you. What? How dare you be on my shit? Fucking trying to recruit one of my best that's players. Like I, I, recruited, I have nothing to do with the son. team. I'm not. Son. That's like strike five. Son, Come on, you man. You don't get your. But I'll be ass at the game. Kicked. Slim. What the fuck does he? You she don't give a fuck if you at the game. You, gonna you just gonna sit too. there like a regular person. Me, I jumps up. I entertain them while they fucking play. <laughs> that's true, Slim. Thank you so much man. for coming in. I appreciate it. Man. I love no your problem. game. Keep killing it. And we will see. Yeah, no, I'll I mean, come out there. If anything, he stood true to the, the title because he brought some fuckery with that. He comment. brought some real fuckery, <laughs> right? Fuckery that that is real true. Uh, that's fuckery how we right do there, it, right? Motherfuckers. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what the bullshit that I'm talking about. All right. We'll Man, be... I hope you do so good and hungry. Oh, I, thank you. Yeah. I, I, hope sure, they, I make sure I, uh, I hope they paying you and taking good oh, care nah, of you. Oh, no, nah. no. They, they, they set me up real nice. Overseas is usually, I make sure that, like, wherever I go, I don't have no ridiculous demands. You know what I mean, I just one bedroom, get my my car, make sure you know I I'm safely to and from practice, all that type of things. But no they shit. Should, overseas take care of you, like especially like the the top top teams because they get it. They get it. You know what I mean? It's like how, and that's what it goes for the league. And I try to tell people, right? It's like how do you expect people to buy in when you're not buying in? Mm-hmm. So you know, it's like when you show them that you care. I'm pretty sure the people who do care, they're yeah. they're gonna show up. And you weed out the other motherfucker, like you know. Real now, quick. now for Olympics, can you pick which team, or do you have to play USA? Well, for <sighs> for me, I I think I'd have to play USA because I already medaled. Because it's kind of tricky with the FIBA, because you can have a dual passport depending oh, on like okay, you know okay, like okay. your your lineage, you know, okay. or yeah. you know your ethnicity, or you know you could you could have a dual dual citizenship, so right, you can play you for a team. Do. But yeah. you medaled with the USA team? Yeah, I think it was what back in twenty. Was it 2019 or 2020? That's dope. You got a medal, bitch. Yeah, no, in San Juan, it was it was for the um America Cup. It was like a new some new no some new stuff. I don't know. Man, but it was cool though. I was lucky. I was blessed. That's where I got to meet um well not meet but that's where I got to get real close to a seal. So I'm grateful for that experience. To who? Sylvia Fowles. Oh, okay. okay. I was I was able to become like cool with her and like see her uh, on a day to day basis, just talk to her. So I was really dope. I'm I'm excited about you know her new journey. Are you trying to go to the Olympics? Yeah, no. I mean, I got tatted on my. Are are they now? Do they have to pick you for that? Yeah, no. You gotta try out and do all that. You know, man. Man, who I gotta talk to? We're coming. Oh man, no. We're coming. Who I got to talk to? I'll be to see at play. every one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, like, nah. Y'all better pick my back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, the Olympics, the, the Olympics, Um, what is it? When it just happened, right? So yeah. four, four years. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be in the middle of that no. shit. Yeah, France. Because nah, that's, what, that's what Worlds is for right now. That's what Worlds is for is um at the end of September to do the qualification. It? I don't know. They got it. They got They usually try out or you go to camps or God, like they pick how you. We, how do I know? Please tell me. Well, okay. well, you'll know like when they do the final teams, but it's camps. Like they got a camp in November. They got a camp in February. And then they got like pre-camp before and the they league. they have to ask you to do that? They'll send out an email. They'll be like, hey, we want to invite you to the camp. Who knows? You know, I feel like I had a decent season. Maybe they want me back. Maybe they Please. don't. It ain't no personal feelings towards I that. Know, but I want you to go. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I, it's manifested. Here's, here's my thing with like, with the Olympics, I'm gonna get there some way somehow. If it's not as a player, it might be as a coach, or you know what I mean. Like it's something, right? You know, but I know that like I manifest nah, the fact bitch, that like I I'm a, to go as a ah player. for facts. I want to be a player too. Shit, you know me? Man, <laughs> if you do that, I swear to God, I want to be a player too. Like, I will be at every fucking game screaming my ass say off. Say less, say less. Real, I got talk. it tatted on the shin right here. Where is it? Right, you got my my high school, my college, the the league, and then boom, they got. I'm a little hairy right now, but you know, there nah, goes. But I'm just like, that looks painful. <laughs> so it, it was. This was honestly probably the shin and the knee was probably the, the, the craziest pain I've ever hardcore, felt. I almost kicked my tattoo man in the nuts. Tattoo and you're fucking, that's hardcore <laughs> shit right there. Can you imagine though? Like, I'm like, you doing my tattoo and I almost like kick you in the nuts because that's what I'm I'm pretty sure he's gotten kicked in the nuts a couple of times. <laughs> but I came close. Like, I like tapped him. He like scooted back he because like, he hit a nerve. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man Omer. <laughs> my man Omer. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn, for coming in. We really appreciate you coming in, and we hope yes, to see you at the Olympics. Yeah. We're trying to go to the Olympics. We would love to see you there in Paris, France. Yeah. Well, we just, well, there. before you That's can get it. to the Olympics, just start and bring your ass to the actual game. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> why is help. why you trying to recruit her and shit? Yeah, well, you know. bring your ass to a game first. You know how I love LA. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see me. I'll be screaming at you. Sleep, it's me. You'll be like, oh my God. If you do that I'm shit, like, I promise you I'll yeah. ignore you. See? <laughs> I, I ignore creepy shit. But like Slim. That. Slim, it's me. No, it's me. It's me. It's no, Slim. It's me. No. It's me. No, no, no. Now I'm going to do it on purpose. It's Slim. Slim. I'm going to be like, I, that's the, I, swear, I hope and my that, manager's in the crowd. She's like, ignoring me, but everybody knows me. Every, they all, hey. she knows me. Don't let her kid yourself. <laughs> Is you gonna be one of them? Yeah. <laughs> Is you gonna be one of them? Because I'm gonna be like, I don't know him. She told me to come to the game. She told me to come to the game right I there. Man. Fifteen sorry to this man. I, one sorry. five. Lenny said, who? Come to the game. I, the only Lenny I know is Lenny Williams. When is Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lenny. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We have time for the fuckery of the week. That's what we have time for today. Leslie, I think I'm going first. Is that correct? Yeah, you go first. All right. My fuckery of the week involves the state of Texas's douchebag Governor Greg oh, Abbott. God. I know. Oh, oh God. God. Listen, I've been in Texas a bunch of times. They got some nice people there. I know some nice people there. I had to work there for a while. They got big bugs. I don't know nobody nice Yeah. Man. And you know they got some fine steak. They make a good steak. I went to Trail Dust in Dallas. They cut your tie off some stupid things. Good stories. Go to St. Louis for a better steak. Yeah, see some pretty blondes. Nice. But they got some of the dumbest motherfuckers running that state of all time. Their governor, Greg Abbott, best known as the guy who went jogging after a rainstorm and a tree fell on him and put him in a wheelchair. Hey, Bible-thumping Texas kooks. (laughs) That was the Lord's way of telling Greg Abbott that he was a dick, so (laughs) cut it out. But no, he rode that sympathy like a bronco in a rodeo to become governor of the state. Here's some of his amazing work. Coronavirus. Over 60,000 people in the state died. Then he banned masks in public schools. Awesome. Then his vaccine distribution in Texas ranks 49th in the country. There's a state nursing shortage. He refuses to expand Medicaid despite Texans having the worst health insurance in the country. He is an opponent of same-sex marriages. He signed a bill allowing anti-LGBT stance on adoption. He wants to enforce a bathroom bill for transgender people. The abortion now punishable with a five-year prison sentence. Nice job. Refused to accept the results of the 2020 presidential election. Believes state law should override federal law. An economy in shambles. Crazy high unemployment rate. Begged the bankrupt NRA to move to Texas. Signed a permitless carry bill into law because it totally makes sense to let untrained and unlicensed gun nuts walk around. Hello, Uvalde shooting, but yeah, you gotta have guns, you fucking idiots. Ignore the energy grid in favor of money. 700 people died this past winter and from the winter storm that the power grid couldn't handle. And his latest political stunt, send a bus of migrants to New York City to protest what he calls President Biden's irresponsible open border policies. Nice job, Texas, using human beings as political pawns. Now that is some fuckery. Do me a favor, Texas. Go fuck yourself. Texas is always trying to secede from the union. They constantly threatened it. Threaten to do it? Let them. All these states... Go ahead, secede from the union. All these states want to secede. They're poor and they get money from richer states and the federal government, a.k.a. my taxes. So good luck, Texas. Handle everything yourself. It seems you got it all figured out. No immigrants, no health care, no safe schools, no power grid. But as they say in the movies, just steers and queers in Texas and you're trying to get rid of half of those. Enjoy your red meat, dumb hats, oil spills, Gulf hurricanes, no health care. Smarter than all of us, Jerry Jones, who hasn't sniffed the Super Bowl in 25 Five fucking years. Well, don't worry, Lenny. There ain't gonna be no parade for you down here anytime soon. Well, I wouldn't get in anything involving a motorcade down there since I know you have trouble protecting the president of the United States. Yeah, I brought up J- JFK, bitches. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> so we will not be doing any shows. No, in not Texas. in Texas anytime uh, soon. Yeah. Uh, You're up. Wow, and everything is everything is bigger in Texas. Yeah. That was a big fuck you all to Texas. Texas, a fuck off. Governor. Fuck you. And Lenny says fuck you. The fuckery with Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus was created by Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus. The show is produced by Judith Cargbo and our audio engineer for today is Marina Pecan Pies. Music for the show is also done by Marina Pies. This is an Earwolf production.